today we're going to explore how to create QR codes and the different ways to use them. Now, if you like this video whatsoever, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe so that you're first to be notified when new content comes out. Welcome back, friends. Today, we're going to talk about how to use QR codes in ways that work best for us and which apps to use in Canva to create QR codes. Now, I've been through some of the apps in Canva and there's a couple that are free to use with Canva. Others like uh, Bitly or um, other apps like Flowcode or uh, some other apps that do a lot of fancy things. They maybe give you like one to two free uses, but then you have to pay for a subscription to continue to use these QR codes. So if you're just creating one QR code, that's great. You can use these um, uh, souped up QR code creators, or you can use and continue to use the free ones. Now, they pretty much do the same thing, uh, although some of them are limited in some ways, while others give you a lot uh, more functionality. But let's just go through the different ways that we can use QR codes. So we can use QR codes to uh, link to a flyer. You can use a QR code to link to a website. You can use a QR code to link to um, a phone number for SMS messaging. And you can also use a QR code to link to an email address. And I'm sure there are plenty of other things that we can use QR codes for, uh, e.g. like when I say flyer, really that's a file. So you can use a QR code to link to a file. And that could be either a hyperlink on your Google Drive or your OneDrive, or it can even be a file document at which some of the QR code makers allow. So let's go through. I have here on my desktop a um, fake, so to speak, business card. And um, I've left a little space here for my QR code. So this is the front of my business card. And this is the back of my business card. Now I can add the QR code on the back as well, but let's go back to the front of my business card. Now to find, now I am using the new Canva editor. And if you're struggling with Canva, you can join my YouTube membership where I go through and teach the Canva fundamentals from start to finish. Um, so that you can take your designs to the next level. And with the YouTube membership comes a very private, small YouTube group where I provide personal feedback. And um, there are some other perks as well. If you're interested, press that join button on my profile to see what the different levels of membership are and join. Um, now, getting back to the QR code maker, one of the QR code makers is called Dynamic QR Code. And to find it, just click on Apps. And in the top search bar, search for QR code. And a whole bunch of them will come up. And as I said, some of them are paid. Some of them are free to use. So the first one that we're going to try out is called Dynamic QR Code. And with this, you get a whole bunch of different uh, templates that you can use. Uh, I'm going to use this one right here. They pretty much all did the same thing. So what is a QR code? Well, it's it's a QR code is made as kind of a shortcut link when someone can take their phone and with the camera lens scan that QR code, which will link to something where they can get more information. And this becomes handy because if businesses can't add a whole bunch of stuff on a business card, a QR code is the perfect way to give a business's followers a lot more information about their business. So I've selected this template here. It's a little bit funky, 
And so we see here that there's a link. So we can add a link here. Now, for this QR code maker, we have to, it only takes websites. So I'm going to type in my website. And we also have the option to add a logo. So I'm going to go ahead and add my logo. So I'm going to search for my logo. And here it is right here. And I'm going to add that. And there you can see it right there in the center. Uh, now it gives the option for a pattern color. So I'm just going to click in there and just um, change the pattern color maybe to pink. and the eye color. And so as you can see, we have the option to copy the pattern color, which is up here, or we can keep it black. So let's change the eye color to maybe a gray. And we also have the option to change the frame color. So let's change that to a violet color. So I'm just going to take that and bring that over here. And I'll just move that up here to there. And the background color is white. And you so you also have the option to change the background color if you wanted to. So let's see what happens when we change that. Okay, and that I'm really not liking that too much. So I'm just going to put that back to white. But obviously, that is an option that you have as well. Now, um, there's also an option here to uh, track analytics. And that is a pro feature for which you'd have to pay in order to use. But this is a great um, QR code generator, just the way it is. So I'm not going to toggle that on. So once you're done customizing your QR code, you can come down here and you can just say add to design. Okay, so here it is right here. I'm just going to size that a little bit better. And I'll just place that right in there like that. Now, let's go to Okay, so that is one of the QR code generators that's available and that's free. And I think that's pretty cool, it's pretty funky. Now you don't have to have it so colorful and ornate. You can keep it really, really simple by using one of these square templates if you wanted to. Now I'm gonna use another QR code generator which, will, which offers a couple of different features. So I'm just going to click on my second page here and I'm going to go back to my apps. And now I'm going to search for something called bulk QR. So uh, let me see. So here it is right here. It's called read bulk QR. So I'm going to select that. And this app is a little bit different. So it will allow you to attach a website, an email, a phone number, um, or something else to your QR code. So I'm going to uh, type in my website in here. So I'll type in easyhas123abc.com. And for this, again, we have the option to choose the pattern color and we have the option to choose the background color. So I'll just leave it at black for the pattern and white for the background. And now I'll just select add QR code. And again, over here, there's an option to enable tracking, which I'm sure is an upgraded feature where you'd have to pay for a subscription. But I'm just going to click on add QR code. And here is the QR code. And I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to put that over here. Now, of course, when you are creating QR codes, always make sure that you are testing them to make sure that they work 
before you go to print your business cards or print flyers or print whatever it is that you are printing. And finally, the last step is once you are happy with your flyer or your business cards that contain your QR code, you can go ahead and print them either at home or you can print them with Canva. All right, so I hope that you did find this tutorial helpful. If you did, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be notified when new content comes out. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye.